Mike, in a year where everybody is kind of bemoaning the fact that, well, this year is kind of like last year and last year wasn't so hot, it's nice to see that there are some up-and-coming announcements. We've seen the announcement two weeks ago of M2, and now Latitude. So Cessna has come out of the, uh, out of the blocks uh, fighting for the market with two unique aircraft announcements. Tell us about Latitude. Why and why now? Well, the biggest thing is why is because that's what our customers ask us for. Uh, we did a lot of market research the last year or two on what the next airplane would be after the Citation XLS Plus. And we felt like there was a position in our product line between the XLS Plus and the Sovereign. So that's really how the thing came about, was trying to fill that niche. What kind of numbers are we going to be looking for for this airplane? Well, the biggest number is the cabin size. The exterior diameter of the fuselage is 84 inches and that'll give us a 72 inch or six foot aisle height with a flat floor in the cabin. And that's one of the things that this segment customer asked for. Beyond that, it'll have all the characteristics of the citations and very good performance in all areas. Short field performance, about 3,900 feet at gross weight. Direct climb to 45,000 feet, 442 knots, so a good fast cruise speed and a IFR range of 2,000 nautical miles. When R&D dollars are so hard to come by in an economy that's been so slow, and especially when it's been so slow for as long as it's been, there's got to be a really excruciating pro process at Cessna before you go ahead and spend development dollars on a new airplane. We say it all the time, and it's, it's certainly true. We spend a lot of time looking at new products, and, and throughout our history, we've always kept a consistent amount of, of money and our resources into new product development. If you look back even a few years, some very significant product announcements from Cessna came in kind of the downtimes of the market. So it's not surprising for us. But we have some new leadership at Cessna. We're very excited about the direction we're going in speeding up that, that product announcement. So I think you'll see a lot of new stuff coming from Cessna in the coming years. Cessna has maintained a very interesting leadership position in one particular area. All you have to do is talk to a Citation owner and know that the ownership experience is one that's uh, far more of a partnership than a you know, customer producer type of environment that you see in so many other areas. So when you talk about listening to your customers, you, uh, Cessna has the immediate advantage of keeping in touch with them a whole lot more. The customer process that leads to a new design like that, can you talk about the outreach and what kind of conversations and how formal this process is? Well, there is a formal process indeed, and it comes from several areas. We listen to our sales staff and, and we talk to the customers ourselves within marketing. Customer service is a good source of feedback from our customers. And we also use scientific surveys. We used a conjoint analysis to develop a lot of the data that turned into the latitude. Making a break with the conventional uh, flight deck suppliers on programs like this is kind of a, well, one would think it'd be a big risk except for the fact that we're dealing with Garmin, but it is a whole new departure in operability and in, in uh, interface and so forth. Why Garmin and why now? With the new programs, we always look at all the platforms that are available, and everything figures into that. The cost, the schedule, the features they have, and the big part of that now is forward-looking. What can they do for us in the near future, future navigation, future regulatory situations that come up? And in this case, Garmin just had the best product for us for this, this mix of airplane. Now, what's the roadmap look like from here to uh, latitude uh, production and sale? Well, the roadmap is going to be pretty short. We have a very aggressive time schedule on this. Uh, we'll have the airplane certified in uh, mid-2015, and we'll deliver our first latitude before the end of the year 2015. The XLS series has, uh, of course, garnered uh, a tremendous amount of customer support and a lot of approbation from there, but it's always been, well, what do you got for me now? Yeah, and that's a good point. Uh, if you go back and look at the history of the XL, uh, a, a great deal of those orders came from people who were, had a Citation 2 or a Citation 5 or an Ultra, and it was a natural progression. Uh, we've built and delivered over 700 XLs, XLS, and XLS Plus aircraft, so that is a big pool to draw from, certainly to, to step up from there. Well, Mike, we sure appreciate your time on a busy day, opening day at MBAA, and we wish you uh, good luck with the latitude. Can't wait till we can fly one.
Aero TV is brought to you by... Abaddon is the brand of choice for pilots who want innovative, easy-to-use avionics. And the new IFD 540 GPS Navcom sets a new standard for simplicity in communication and LPV navigation. As a slide-in replacement for existing 530 series navigators, and with a highly intuitive touchscreen control, the IFD 540 makes it much easier to access the information you want when you want it, reducing head downtime and making flying more enjoyable. Finally, you have a choice, and the choice is easy. Avidine.